Today I'm going to show you how I paint a wave. So today I'm going to be using a limited palette of only five colours. Well, actually six in total, but there's another one here that I haven't included, uh, but I'll show that a little bit later on. The colours that I'm going to be uh, using today are Ultramarine Blue, Alizarin Crimson, Cadmium Red, to start with at least, just to create a mix for the dark. And I'm starting with some Ultramarine Blue because I want to make sure that the colour stays on the cool side. So I'm mixing in a little bit of Alizarin Crimson and just a very small amount of Cadmium Red to just very slightly warm it up. So I'm just squeezing out a bit of Naples Yellow so that I can use that to lighten up the dark mix which I've made. I always tend to start with a bit of Naples Yellow just to before I put in some white, just to keep the richness of the mix intact. So you can see there I've got uh, two different shades or values there, uh, a very dark one and then a slightly lighter one. And now what I'm doing is getting some of the dark mix and just looking at the reference photo at the, especially at the part of the painting where the shadow is cast on the white water and I'm trying to create a I suppose a mauve kind of color a light purple color with the dark mix and some titanium white and once I'm happy with that light mix I just give my palette a bit of a clear up so it's not a complete mess and there's a bit of order there and you can see the range of values that I've got from dark to light there in the blue range. So I'm just starting the sketch in now and I actually find the hardest part of sketching in sometimes is finding out where to put the first stroke. So I'm more or less just feeling out where I think the wave should be, trying to work out where the focal point of the painting will be and I actually ended up wiping some off there um, and starting from right from the center where I knew the eye would be going so uh, that's what happens sometimes when you're sketching in Once I've got the initial sketching done, I'm then able to take some of the dark mix and start putting it on the panel. As you can see, I've got the shadow part of the white water put in there, the, wet, the part where the shadow is cast by the wave onto the white water. Four, 
And if you just look there onto the far right, you'll see there's white highlight there. And I've put that in just against the shadow so that I can be sure that it's the correct value. I didn't want to put the whole of the white water in and the highlight on the right hand side. I just wanted to make sure that I had the values correct, the relationship correct between the two of them there. I'm also trying to direct my brush strokes in the formation of the water so that I convey the power of the wave. So once I've got the blue tones of the wave in, it's time to look at the greens of the part of the wave which is turning over. I'm just doing a little test there with the darks just to see that it, how it balances up with the rest of the painting. And I'm mixing up a green, a dark green with some ultramarine blue and some cadmium yellow. Not too much actually, just a little, a small amount to keep the mix as dark as I can to start with. So there you can see I've got a almost, not too dark, but a kind of dark green there, which I can, which I think is in balance with the rest of the painting. And now I'm adding a lot more Naples yellow to that mix in order to lighten up and also some white, some titanium white to really bring in a mid-tone to highlight in the folding over part of the wave. And now you can see the complete palette that I've created from those five simple colors plus white. And now it's time to apply the greens to the panel. Here I'm just working on the shadow part of the wave, trying to darken it just enough that it looks like shadow, but not too much so that it goes too dark. And also that it enhances the highlight once I put that in.
So here's the finished painting. I ended up changing a bit there in the front with the foaming water because I felt like it was a little bit too static. So I ended up smoothing down the rough edges or the harder edges a little bit um, and changing it slightly from the reference photo, um, which I think worked a little better in the end. And I also ended up darkening the shadow of the white water along here um, against the um, wave because I realized it wasn't dark enough compared to the wave. And I also ended up um, making the highlights a little stronger along that edge there and adding some details uh, to the white water to the background here and also to the foreground. So that's about it for this time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.